So I wanted to under the seat storage option for my Bonafide P127 right here. And Bonafide actually makes two options here. They have the under the seat bag, cost a hundred bucks. I don't love that option because it like sits on the bottom of my kayak. I have water in the bottom of my kayak. That bag is just gonna get wet potentially moldy all the time. They have a second option as well, which is an under the seat storage tackle box still, which is nice because it's up off the ground. But I fell in love with, whenever I fished a whole lot, my Native Slayer Propel 10, which if you've been around the channel a while, you've seen me kind of migrate from the Native Slayer Propel 10 to the P127. But nonetheless, underneath the seat here, there was a wide gap and it allowed for this guy which was a Craftsman Versa stack. And these things are freaking awesome. So I would just simply reach underneath, kind of sit under this, this was underneath the seat, and I would just pull out that drawer, have all kinds of different types of tackle in here. If it wasn't in there, had it in there. And as you can see, incredibly convenient. And the problem, as you can see on my Bonafide P127, is that once you lift this seat up here, the design of the kayak prohibits having one of those Craftsman Versa stack. I know that DeWalt makes one as well. It doesn't matter because it's not going to fit under here, even if you put seat risers like I have here. And so I needed to get creative here and build a drawer option. Okay, so this is the option I have. Pull this drawer out, boom, just like before, shut it, and we are good to go now the problem is you got to create brackets for this which I'm going to show you how to do and then I want to put like some bungee here so I can have room to put uh, another tackle storage on top that's easily accessible but doesn't fall forward for any reason so when it comes to the brackets my wife's a woodworker has a shop in our basement and so you can check her out at Wendell Woodworks she's on YouTube as well but I'm gonna have her walk through what I asked her to create for me and then we'll bring it back up here and put it together for your under the seat storage for your bona fide P127 All right, let's go okay so the dimensions are very odd so I don't have them memorized I'm gonna have Darren, put them on the screen for you or down below. Um, but they're bigger than just a regular two by four. So I started by just clamping two two by fours together, gluing them and clamping so it's like one giant piece of wood. Um, and How long then- How the here for the glue? The glue, it doesn't take very long, honestly. Probably just a couple hours and it's, you know, it's fine to start cutting. Um, once they were attached, I did the inside measurements and then I drew that on there. Once again, they're a little odd. Um, and then I drew that box that I needed to cut out and then I ran it down the table saw twice. So once I had the pencil markings of what I needed to cut out, I just slid it down the table saw on this side and then again on this side to cut out that square. And there you have a bracket. There you go. You might want to take some notes. All right, this is three inches and three sixteenths inches long. From here to here. Yep. Great. And this is two and seven sixteenths of an inch. Couldn't just be two and a half. It was two and seven sixteenths. Um, and then lengthwise, it was eight and three quarters inch. That's the easiest measurement there is. This was old scraps. That's why there's a. Oh no, that's from your. Yeah, never mind. I'll okay. Get to that in a moment. Sorry. Okay, and then for the inside cuts, this was one and one sixteenth of an inch deep here and two and one eighth inch deep here. There it is. All right, so now we're gonna put a bungee rail here and I have some marine grade bungee cord left over from my um, kayak crate with rod holders. So if you're interested in how to create that, that was freaking awesome. And if you make that, you have this left over, which is nice. And so what you're gonna have to do is find a drill bit that all mine are like, I can't read them anymore. And so essentially, if you can't, you just gotta make sure that drill bit is slightly larger than the diameter of the bungee, bungee that you got. And so what I did is drilled four holes here and here. Let me see if you can see that. There you go, already drilled these. Right there, right there. Two more on the other side. And now what we're gonna do is make our bungee rail. So let's go ahead. Cut this off. That's nice and tight. That's about good. Kind of the same. Tie the knot on your thumb right there. 
that's gonna fray a little bit. And because that's gonna fray a little bit, I'm just gonna I'm good to go. All right, next we're gonna do in order to attach these to your kayak is you gotta create some holes um, for your T-bolts to go in. So I got these from my man over at 3dyak.com. These are 3D printed tops. And these are one and a half inch T-bolts that go into your gear track on your kayak. And so the idea behind this, and just so you guys know, what we're looking at is around five eighths inch off the inside corner for the holes. And then you're looking at roughly, look at the bottom. There we go. Uh, you could probably do one and a half on the first hole, three and three quarters on the second hole, or three and a half on the second hole. And the idea is this, is that these, in your gear track, these are attached to the bottom. And then what needs to happen is that whenever you put these on, they need to be able to spin. So you don't want the knob too close or the hole too close to the wood, or this won't spin tight. All right, just to let you know, in order to build this on your Bonafide P127, you're going to need the uh, seat risers that comes at 3dyak.com as well. Not that expensive, so you get this, this back here, this one, and this one, because your seat high enough so when you sit down in your seat that you don't feel this under the seat storage option for you. And so what we're going to do, basically put these guys in there, one, two, all right these down number two on all right nice and snug that ain't going anywhere Let's get the other side done all right all right now they have your brackets on take this guy look at that look at that has the little gaps in between there so your knot sits in there. Now all you gotta do is screw this to the top. All right, now I got a quarter inch. And you can use a variety of different things. I have these guys here, little washers on them. I'm just gonna line this up. Good. There you go. Get on this side, flip it over and do the other side. And there you have it, folks. Under seat storage for your Bonafide P127. Throw your Plano boxes up here. It's not gonna, not gonna come out because you created your bungee rail. This guy in there. You can rip the top off so it's just easy access if you want. On the plastic ones, just take the hinge off from the back. All right, so now let's go ahead and put the seat back on so I can show you the clearance. All right, guys, you can see if we get down here, you have plenty of clearance. If you were to sit down in your seat, if you're super heavy, it's still not gonna hit this right here. And boom, there you have it. If you're sitting up here in your seat, easy access, boom, just reach down here, grab it, shut it, good to go. All right, so I'll let you guys know on the link for this guy. This is really just one of those, something you would attach underneath the desk. Um, we modded it out, obviously, for this, but uh, I'll throw that in the links below, the marine grade bungee stuff below, head over to 3D Yak get to get these guys right here, uh, the T-bolts. And of course you're going to need to go over to 3dyak.com anyways to get those seat risers in order to make this modification work. Don't you love 3D printers? They can like print anything. In fact, I got a video for you, six incredibly useful 3D printed kayak fishing accessories. You can check those out right there. Thanks guys for watching. See ya.